Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be looking at percentiles of grouped data. We have a problem here to solve. The frequency table shows the scores of candidates in a selection test. Calculate the A, the 30th percentile, B, 50th percentile, and C, 80th percentile. And we have the table here with the first column being the scores and the second column being the frequency. In order to solve this problem, we need to expand this table to accommodate first the cumulative frequency column. And then to get the cumulative frequency for the first interval, we maintain the frequency because it is expected that if there's any class interval before this, the frequency is zero. So zero plus four gives four. They will now come here to say 4 plus 6 gives 10, 10 plus 12 gives 22, 22 plus 14 gives 36, 36 plus 9 gives 45, and 45 plus 5 gives 50. So with this 50, it is representing the total population in this distribution. We go ahead to add the lower class boundary column. With the lower class boundary, for the first class interval, if there is an interval before this, it is 0 to 9. So the upper class interval there and this lower class interval will be, will be added and then the sum divided by 2. So 9 plus 10 gives 19. 19 divided by 2 gives 9.5. 19 plus 20 divided the sum by 2 gives 19.5. 29 plus 30 divide the sum by 2 gives 29.5. 39 plus 40 divide the sum by 2 gives 39.5. 49 plus 50 divide the sum by 2 gives 49.5. 49 plus 50 divide the sum by 2 gives 59.5. So that's all for the lower class boundary. And then we can go ahead to start with A, which is the 30th percentile. The formula for the 30th percentile is P3 equal to L plus open bracket 30N over 100. The 30 over 100 represents the 30th percentile of the entire population and the population is N. So minus the cumulative frequency before the 30th percentile, then divide by the frequency of the 30th percentile multiplied by the class width. We go ahead to find each item in the formula. So starting from 30n over 100, it means 30 over 100 multiplied by the total population. Our total population is 50. We multiply by 50 and this gives 15. We can then use this now to identify the 30th percentile interval. So we go to the cumulative frequency where is 15 accommodated. So 15 is accommodated in 22, which means the 30 to 39 represent the 30th percentile interval. We'll be able to get the other information from here, like the lower class boundary of the 30th percentile is 29.5. Then the next thing is the cumulative frequency before the 30th percentile. The cumulative frequency before the 30th percentile is 10. Then the frequency of the 30th percentile, this is 12. Then the class width, we can obtain the class width from the lower class boundary. Either we say 39.5 minus 29.5, which gives 10, or we could still say 29.5 minus 19.5, which will still give us a 10, representing the class width. We've gotten all the information required to calculate the 30th percentile, we then go ahead to substitute. L is 29.5, then plus open bracket. Our 30N over 100 is 15, then minus the cumulative frequency before the 30th percentile, which is 10, then divide by 12, which is the frequency of the 30th percentile, multiply by W, and our W is 10. We then simplify, that's 29.5 plus 5 over 12 multiplied by 10. This is 50 divided by 12, giving us 
4.17, adding it to 29.5 gives 33.67, representing the 30th percentile of this distribution. So the next is the 50th percentile. Remember, 50th percentile represents half of the entire population as it is divided into percentiles. So it also means the median of this distribution. So since 50 is half of 100, so it means the median of this distribution. And the formula is only changing under 50n over 100. If it is 80th percentile, it will be 80n over 100. That's the only thing that will change there. So we go ahead to get the items in the formula. So 50n over 100, um, that's going to be 50 over 100 multiplied by 50. 50 being the population of the distribution. And this is giving us 25. We then use this 25 to identify the 50th percentile interval. 25 will be looked onto from the cumulative frequency. Where is it accommodated? It is accommodated within 36. So 40 to 49 is the 50th percentile interval, which will be used to get other information for the formula. So the next thing is the lower class boundary of the 50th percentile, and that gives 39.5. Then the cumulative frequency before the 50th percentile. The cumulative frequency before the 50th percentile is 22. The frequency of the 50th percentile, which is uh, 14. And the class width from A still remain 10. We then substitute to get 50th percentile. The L is 39.5 plus open bracket. 50N over 100 is 25 minus cumulative frequency before the median class, which is 22. Then divide by frequency of the median class, 14, multiply by 10. This is 39.5 plus 3 over 14 times 10. The 3 over 14 times 10 will be 2.14. Adding it to 39.5, we have it as 41.64, representing the 50th percentile, as well as the median of this distribution. And then we go further to solve C. For C, the 80th percentile formula is given as P80 is equal to L plus open bracket 80N over 100 minus CFB over F multiplied by W. Remember, we told you what is changing in the formula is just this component, which is 80 over 100, representing the 80th percentile. So we go ahead to get 80N over 100, which is 80 over 100 multiplied by 50, giving us 40 as the 50N over 100. We use this 40 to get the 80th percentile interval. 40 is accommodated within 45. Therefore, the 80th percentile interval is 50 to 59. So we get L from there. L is the lower class boundary of the 80th percentile, which is 49.5. We have the cumulative frequency before the 80th percentile, which is 36. Then the frequency of the 80th percentile is 9. Our class width has been calculated to be 10. So from here, we substitute to get the 80th percentile. 49.5 is L, then plus... 80N over 100 gives 40, then minus CFB, which is 36, divide by 9, as F, then multiply by 10. This is going to give us 49.5 plus 4 over 9, then multiply by 10. The 40 divided by 9 gives 4.4444. To two decimal places, we have it as 4.44. Adding it to 39.5 gives 53.94, representing the 80th percentile of this distribution. And that's the end of solution to this problem. And this is where we are ending this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. 
Also remember to check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to other videos on statistics. Until we come your way again, goodbye.